Hi guys, and welcome back to another Gab's Cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out the latest coin analysis like this. So for today's video, we are actually going to monitor Bitcoin and then we are going to dive in quickly with the Ethereum price action as we want to give you updates on both coins. But with that being said, let's now dive into this video and, let, and let's give you a quick recap of our previous analysis. So in the previous analysis, I was just expecting just more of a consolidation lang dito after hitting our previous target. And yeah, the by previous movement natin, we were actually monitoring ito. Yung previous movement na minamonitor natin was this broadening falling wedge which has played out exactly as predicted. Kasi diba, sabi natin ang target is the top of the wedge which we have actually met. But right now, what is next for the Bitcoin price action? So zooming in within the early time frame, you can see now, right now, Let's try to plot this properly. Try natin gawin siya from the start. As you can see, uh, gawa natin siya ng analysis na ito, itong line. As you can see kasi previously, Bitcoin has now been forming an increasing price. While as you can see, sa baba naman, RSI is rapidly declining. And as we all know, those are traditional signs of a bearish divergence. So right now, I'm actually watching out for this potential bearish divergence. And ano ba yung pwede natin makita dito na move? So, you can see, pwede ka din actually mag-plot ng support line dyan or support area around this. So, as you can see, if ipa-plot mo rin yan, meron din tayo actually nag-form na rising wedge. So, this can still continue pa din. But, ang mas maganda pa rin dito is magkaroon tayo ng breakout, bearish breakout with sell volume in order for us to confirm the move. Kasi hanggat walang, hanggat walang breakdown, then that is not yet confirmed and... Yun yung ating And as much as possible, mas maganda may sa volume para mas maganda movement natin at para tuloy-tuloy siya. But nonetheless, since traditionally this is a bearish pattern, I'm actually bearish bias for the time being. And yeah, right now I have opened a latest trade dito. I have opened a short position dito and then I'll just be placing a stop loss around this area na lang. And yeah, the reason why I've opened it earlier kasi nga, may lakad ako mamayang gabi and I must, as much as possible uh, mag-i-place na lang ang stop loss para if ever let's say hindi na meet yung target natin or hindi siya nag into this bearish breakout then at least kaya pa paano na-secure natin yung capital okay lang yun kasi di ba as what we've been saying for the past years mas okay na yung ma-secure yung capital natin kaysa sa totally ma-liquidate ka kasi if na-liquidate ka then wala kang pera pang enter sa mga next trade okay, right now I am actually eyeing for this short position dito up until the 16,546 US dollar or 16,560 as you can see, this is a rising wedge and traditionally ang target niyan is the bottom of the wedge. And we can also target this previous support area na yan kasi diba, you can see, we are getting a lot of consolidation within that movement. So, that could be a potential support area dito for the Bitcoin price action. And take note, I have opened this next trade sa ating Bybit copy trade account. And if wala pa kay account with Bybit, make sure to use my sign up link na you can find in the description down below. And as you can see, kaka-open ko lang siya. And yeah. This is actually available in the description down below if you want to make an account with Bybit and if you want to follow our Bybit Copatrate account. And on top of that, in yung ating monitor dito with the Bitcoin price action, let's now dive in with Ethereum. So for Ethereum naman, just an analysis lang. So diba sa previous Ethereum movement, if you're going to look at this, Ethereum kasi previously nag-form pala siya ng ascending triangle. And traditionally, ascending triangle is a bullish pattern to the upside. And traditionally, para makuha mo yung target niyan is kukunin mo yung height niya, height ng triangle. Then, lagay mo siya sa possible point of breakout. Then, yun yung magiging target. And take a look at that. Ethereum actually met that specific target. And then, if you're going to zoom out pa kay Ethereum way before pa, Ethereum din nag-form din actually siya ng rising wedge. And traditionally, ang target niyan is around the bottom of the wedge, which actually just met that specific target. Kasi as you can see, we saw that bearish breakout dito with Ethereum and then it has met those target. So right now, I think it's a good time to monitor Ethereum right now kasi right now, analysis are actually looking pretty accurate for the time being with Ethereum price action. So with that being said, I think it's a good time to monitor Ethereum. And similar with Bitcoin, as you can see, if you're going to open the RSI, Ethereum is also forming at increasing price while RSI is also declining. So similar with Bitcoin, we are seeing a bearish divergence dito with Ethereum. And I think we can go down up until the 1,202 US dollars if let's say we are going to play this analysis. So yeah, right now, that is what I am going to monitor dito, this bearish divergence. And I am currently eyeing a target support area of around the 1,202 US dollars or 1,203. Yeah, right now, that is what I am currently monitoring with the Ethereum 
price action. And yeah, uh, if you wala pa account with Bybit, make sure to use my sign up link. It's available in the description down below. And yun mo lang tita for the time being. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.